This program is intended for mature audiences and may contain some material that is not suitable for everyone, including violence, coarse language, and unfiltered opinions. We do not endorse the views of those we report on. Christ on a pogo stick, ladies and gentlemen. Holy fuck. We're, we're here. We're back. We're celebrating my fucking birthday. And there's a whole lot that we have to talk about tonight. Like, literally too much for me to cram in the title. In addition to the title stuff, there's some other stuff, too. But first of all, let's go through it. G-Man has been apparently planning to pay Shani a visit and get a picture of their, uh, of their motor vehicle. So, uh, Jason was tipped off by a certain individual, and uh, he alerted the cops about the situation. Uh, a bit of an exclusive. Oh, well, uh, other than that, um, I, the only person who's been able to talk about this so far is Mango, so we'll give you a bit more information. There's been some more information on this developing story. Uh, Von Helton goes fully mask off with his love of fascism. And most importantly, perhaps, there's a complete and total maniac trying to spread slanderous lies about me. To the corn cob community. It sounds weird when I say it like that. All right, let's bring in the beautiful people. We're joined by Mango, Heon, and the lovely Yami. Welcome, welcome, welcome aboard. Thank you for joining. It, it's amazing to have Yami here because we <laughs> never have Yami. <laughs> this is a. First. I should let you guys all know I do not regret anything, nor will I apologize. Now let's get this shit going. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we like to hear here uh, <laughs> also it's not like, we, it's not like yeah. we've never had yami on here before ever we have had well, yami I mean, on here yeah before. we we've had yami before but i'm just saying we usually don't so like it feels like we never have her because the last time was months ago i need people that, to that fill in when for i listen. actually didn't have a job <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been trying to invite more people on here more often because uh, Lizard's been busy. You know what I mean? So yeah, I've been trying to invite more people that but we have now. You traded one military man for an ex Navy that. That's oh. close enough, right? That's sure. close enough. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Hold on with that. I mean, you did technically upgrade, so I get. I do have to give you props. Wow. Oh, I have to agree. Like, oh. let's go. Whoa. Whoa! All right. Well, we have some strong opinions. And, already and I say like that 20. about my best friend. Yeah, fair, fair. Oh, he's just army. I get to shit on him. That's my right. <laughs> it's like the one universal thing I, I've noticed. You know what? We won't get into it. Um, <laughs> but we already have least, 28 beautiful people here. Damn, that's crazy. But, oh, but uh -huh. Let's say that at least neither of them are crayon eaters. I mean, Cran? yes. Cran. Unless, well, you could try and maybe give him a brown one and see what happens. But... Wait, Cran, that's got that guy who fucking hosts Cran. Cow Corral, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the same dude. Uh, he also goes by Brian. <laughs> oh, Brian. Or, or if you're... <laughs> I call him Brian once, and that never gets let down. I am sorry I can't spell Brian. What a nice cereal box. Well, no, <laughs> nice I, man box. called him Brian. Yeah, repeatedly. Yeah. He <laughs> called him Brian. He was like, that other dude, Brian. <laughs> yeah, and it was like, no one knows about you, Brian. Like, yeah, no shit, because you don't even know his fucking name. You don't know shit about him. <laughs> He's probably like, 
he's probably like the most prolific, uh, you know, person on the geek room right now when it comes to like he goes on TGR and he does his own fucking streams. Like, oh, I'm sorry, like, that's just uh, that's I'm sorry, Wilson, who runs Bloody Breakdown, you know, no, oh. Right, right, right. <laughs> I feel like Brad is just that one guy who's like, I'm just here. Please, someone acknowledge me. We acknowledge you. I see, see you, Brad. You, oh, even you. Frank wants to know who Brian is. <laughs> Brian. Maybe, who is Brian? Maybe, you know what? Maybe Brian is one of the kids that he keeps in the basement. Oh, mm. oh my God. All right, you know what? Everyone brace yourselves. The Geek Room just ended 30 seconds ago. So um, uh, get ready to get kicked oh, out of yeah. here. Yeah, uh, Billy has this habit of coming in and kicking us out. Yeah. yeah. What? It happened last time. Because it's Billy. No, you know what? <laughs> fuck you. I'm the better Navy person. You just fight water fires, okay? Go fuck <laughs> Whoa! Fight, Billy. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. At least Ooh. I know how to drive a boat. You don't know how to do shit. <laughs> Getting brutal tonight. Excuse you. He does uh, off-road training, Okay. He drives his trains off road. <laughs> and that's supposed to be better than what I do, Hal. Oh, because it's funnier. That's all. <laughs> okay, that's true. Especially when you're kind of like sniffing the Mr. Scented like markers and you get the black yeah. ones. You're just like <laughs> really good. So you're not it supposed to sniff nose. markers though. I don't think you're supposed to. Have do you that. never had the Mr. Scented markers? I've never been much of a marker sniffer myself, <laughs> but like no, the Mr. Magnum Scented marker? ones. Oh, the yeah, movie. everyone oh, the knows that the blueberry to was the best one. The black one, you're just fucking weird. And green, exactly. you're probably a drug dealer. Hey, uh, you know what, Mango? Do you remember Smensels? Or yes, I do. That's what they're called, right? They're called uh, Smensels? Yeah. Roughly, yes, yes. Well, all right. I'm they're the, like the off version. All right, we have Wait, like, were you I, one I, of those kids that only got Rose Art because you couldn't <laughs> afford the good shit? <laughs> oh, Rose oh, Art. Speaking of rose art, you guys know those uh little art kits that like your grandparents would get you for Christmas that had yes. like yes. really bad markers. Yeah, Did you yeah, know yeah. you're supposed to pop the bottom off of those markers and put water in them? What? What? Is that why they were bad? Yes, oh. because you're supposed to put you're supposed to pop the bottom off, fill them up with water, shake them, and it inflates the ink pit that's inside of it the so that they'll pit. actually work. I don't like that. That sounds oh, like where? something you'd learn about when you're fucking a squid. Well, I <laughs> learned that information 24 years too late. Yeah, me too. I, I'm Is that sorry, a prank? But... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Bye. Doing the Nazi salute. What the fuck was that? Okay. Thanks a lot, Frank. That's actually really <laughs> topical for Frank, what we're going to be talking about today, if you can believe it. Go back to your basement, okay? Yeah, don't go, you, back, don't go, you go back to your back. naked puzzle. Oh, I'm going to oh be God. frank with you all. Oh my God, you can't be serious. Actually, frank, no. <laughs> no, no. I am not queer. I'm straight. Uh, although I have a friend. Are we safe? Are we finally fucking safe? <laughs> Are right. you finally fucking oh safe? My God. Yeah. Happy birthday, oh, Anna happy. Banana. Yeah, this is a cool after. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. I had to. I don't fucking fault you. That was fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, right, a right. goddamn liar. Uncle Frankie's naked puzzle basement. <laughs> what? what? Wait, are you what? naming your next simulator game? Well, no. How did that come out of your fucking head? What? All right, we're gonna get into the content. I'm tired. I've had five hours of sleep. Fuck this. We're gonna get oh, into the content. Wait. Frank but... said the last time I didn't do it, so it was probably Billy. God yeah, no, that was Billy. Billy. That was fucking Billy. That was actually Billy. I could tell by the avatar. He didn't come in, so you couldn't see it, but <laughs> that was actually fucking <laughs> Billy. I don't even know if that... W I doubt that was actually fucking coordinated. I think that was just a coincidence. That's fucking hilarious. All right, oh so... God. All right. Th thank you to all for everybody for all the birthday wishes. I am going to say hi. It's This is getting harder to... I... I this is getting harder to do every every week. Every week. This is, I'm, I'm not complaining, but this is getting harder to do every week. I'm going to say hi. 
to as many people as I possibly can. Take a deep breath, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to say hi to as many people as, as I possibly if, can. If then we're going to dive into the I can do it, you can do it. You've got just, this. Just, 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 just remember, Anna, in with the good beans, out with the bad beans. Gross. Don't describe it like that. All right. Anyway, moving beans. on. Uh, we got we got Bill. First one. Thank you for joining. Uh, we got uh, we got Seth. Nice to fucking see you. We got Mari here. Nice to see you as well. Trap from, nice to see you, Trap. Always good to see you. We got fucking Ashley. Nice to see you. Uh, Josette. Hell yeah. Always good to see you here. We got Music Combo. Nice to see you as well. I love that username. We got Jay Gamer. Hell yeah. Harry Windigo. Hell yeah. We got Petty Patty. Nice to fucking see you. Um, hey. Nice to see all of you. We got fucking uh, we got Tony here as well. What's up, Tony? But fucking spherical man. We got a uh, serenity. Nice to see you. YouTube gloop, a real fucking genius there in the goddamn chat. Hell yeah. Nice to see you. I, I love, love the your avatar. Work. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, that's so me. good. It's that's so me. fucking good. We got lusty make butt. Nice to see you lusty make butt. Uh, who's Brian? I mean, I think we all know who that is. What's up, Frank? Uh, Sydney. Nice to see you as well. We got Nick geek out. We got Todd in here as well. Jesus Christ. Uh, DJT, I, I don't know what else to call you. I'm just gonna call you DJT. Uh, what's Jason up, Dodd. Hello, Jason. Esmond, what, What's up? Nice to fucking know. Uh, fuck, I, I, I hit, I hit, I hit Wayne brain wall. We got Chili's mom here too. If I didn't say hi to you, then you guys know what to do. Call me. Also, damn it, Dion, you broke him. <laughs> Hello yeah. to all of the lurkers and all of the people that'll catch it on the replay because y'all also fucking matter. Yes, I I completely agree. You guys are just as valid as the people making themselves known in the chat. But you know, make yourself known if you want to be acknowledged. I'll say hi to you. So, and if uh, you don't want to be acknowledged, that's okay. We still love you, anyways. Exactly. Whether you like it or not. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> All right. Calm down. All righty Calm then. Down. Dial, dial it down a little bit. All right. Thank you. Calm no. Down. Yes. Why should she? Enhance your calm, citizen. All right, let's take a look at some content. Real fast. So many different ways, but I'm not. I'm going to be good. Uh, <laughs> before, we, uh, uh -huh. before we get before we get into anything serious, I want to play something really fucking stupid at the start of this Vaughn video. I, uh, I mean, Vaughn is pretty um, fucking stupid. So. I was going to say, yeah, all I, I know. Is just show his face. <laughs> it sounds like an oxymoron, but let's take a look at it's, it. It's 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 bullshit. They they took a word from perpetuity and twisted it into a pretzel to use as a battering ram to beat people up with hi adl i'm looking at you all right so yeah it's all bullshit though because it's not a it's it, it the word does not apply today okay it has no it has no meaning or purpose for today whatsoever no does he not know what perpetuity means i don't think he no. does he doesn't know the meaning of most words yeah especially like gonna... legal related <laughs> shit he has no idea what he's talking about <laughs> Gotcha. What's up, Mr. Wadowson? Nice to fucking see you. Mr. Wadowson, nice to nice to fucking see you here. Also, oh, shit, Mr. Hello, Mr. Wadowson. What's up, Brick? <laughs> What's up, Brick? Brick. <laughs> nice also, you. you guys, if y'all notice, the first set of links that I put up includes the cash tag for Anna. Send Anna some birthday love, either by Streamlabs or their cash app. Much appreciated if you guys send yeah, it. Do it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Very appreciated if you guys can spare any of your cash. But I've been doing pretty well lately, but at the same time, I still would not turn down some 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 birthday graces. So so thank you guys. I, I've been in a great mood, if you guys can't fucking tell. We're at a good oh. show. Anyway. So, <laughs> so buckle on in. I'll give Vaughn a dollar if you can spell perpetuity. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Maynard. Mm. What was that? <laughs> like, you need to see that again. I don't think you do, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Why? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, mucho gracias. Uh, Maynard. Aww. Why did you uh, say Maynard? Uh, what? Maynard. Why? What, what woman would ever think? Yep, I can settle for that. Brittany what Betsy. horse would ever think? <laughs> Not the horses. <laughs> you can lead a horse to water, but you know what? Never mind. Anyway, uh, so yeah. So, Peter, the horses are here. All right. So um, I just want to show you. I just want to show you him saying Maynard real fast. And it, the the real uh the real the real weird part 
Vaughn went very uh Vaughn went very mask off. That's why I've gathered you all here today, and that's why I put that in the title that Vaughn Helton loves fascism. Because I showed he on this before we went live. Right, right, right. As Yon fucking woke up, as as far as I'm aware, I, I fucking hit Yon with this shit. He, 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 yeah, well, fucking. And, um, what what what's oh, said here? Just <laughs> hey, it's my birthday. I can do whatever the hell I want, even send my friend the most reprehensible fucking video of Von Helton ever. So <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Mater. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Mater. <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> His uh, name is like T Mater, except without the T. Oh my lord! <laughs> what a classic. All right, so I, fair warning: everything that Vaughn's about to say here, we fundamentally disagree with, and we will go into detail about why, even though it shouldn't have to be explained. But he's about to say, he's about to say the most calm, comedically like cartoonish villain thing that you you've probably ever heard in your life. Uh, you can lead a horse to Vaughn, and he will ride it. Two dollars, Mister Wadows. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and even like, super chats was a mistake. Uh, but thank you. No, I'm just kidding. Thank, thank you. Very much. Oh, no. There's a reason. The There's a reason I don't have super chats enabled. Oh. <laughs> just, just because I mean, of that. Can you imagine some of the super chats I would be chatting in your channel? <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! Yeah, I mean, just look at. Just look at the super chats that fucking the hooves puts out, and you'll uh you'll you'll understand you'll you'll understand quickly. It's like Jesus Christ. Some I'm I'm glad they exist though. Some of the most crazy shit I've ever heard in my life in a in a good way. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's 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 take a look at this. Nothing I said can prepare you for what you're about to hear. Well, let's let's review that. Okay, let's let's go there. Because if you actually do real research, in other words, go to a physical library and start pulling down fucking books and going through old newspapers and, and you know, scouring the microfiche, what you find is that, yeah, Hitler was a good guy. <laughs> wrong okay. conclusion as usual, Vaughn. Everything <laughs> Vaughn says is wrong. How are you this wrong? Like, genuinely. Like, the one person that almost everybody accepts, even fucking people who identify as fascists are, are sometimes like, yeah, Hitler, you know, not did, a big fan. But did he find out that Hitler painted and that just redeemed the fucking <laughs> genocide that he did? Like... Well, um, he thinks... He, he doesn't believe in the, in, in the actual fucking story that happened. Oh my god, he's a Holocaust yeah. denier. Yeah, he is. He's just a he's an outright fucking denier. Um he, he downplays the shit that happened, all those fucking terrible atrocities. Some of the worst atrocities in human history occurred during that time period, and he just downplays it on a fucking regular basis. And I I never knew that he was bad enough to come out and say this. I knew he was like one of the worst, most reprehensible people on the planet. But I feel like defending Hitler is just like such a it's such a cartoonishly evil thing that I would never imagine any human being who breathes and lives actually doing it outside of Nazi Germany. You know what I mean? But but here we are. <laughs> um, Frank is a POS. He has no life. Where's the joke? Oh, my God. Jesus, Dude. Nick. Oh, what, Jesus what Christ. Look here, that, listen. Uh, let, let, let me just say this. Whatever beef you have with someone else, Leave it outside of the fucking chat. Yeah, take it out of the Take take your <laughs> slap fight somewhere else, dude. Like this, this isn't the place nor the time for it. We're just here to have a good time. If you can't coexist in the space with someone else, block them. Pretend yeah, that, they're not there. Enjoy your time. Well. Uh, I'm not surprised. It's Vaughn. I'm not I'm not surprised in a way, but to hear him actually every time he sinks to a new low, I'm just like, wow, that's a new low. You know, I'm I guess I'm not surprised when any of the people we talk about sink to a new low nowadays. I mean, we've been seeing Dave hit new lows. Uh within the past like year, we were seeing Shani and Jason fucking reach new lows. Like they've been consistently reaching new lows in different ways, all these people that we talk about. So it doesn't really <laughs> surprise me, but it always takes me aback a little bit to hear it the first time. Oh, like, wait pause well he's in your chat i am responding he didn't do shit to you i can see the chat history my guy yeah i mean frank was just in here chilling so you know that all, all, look 
yeah, all all I'm asking is basically uh, what Mango said. Just you know, keep st keep chilly. It's fine if you have differences with people in the chat, but you know, keep it a buck fifty Nick, and just take it easy. You know, Nick, you started this at ten seventeen p.m. saying "fuck Frank." The dude clearly needs more to do than pick on other people because he thinks he's better. Fuck him. You are the one that started the issue. You can't own up to that shit. What the fuck? Like. Just move the fuck along. Yeah, I, I, look, I'm just gonna be real with you as someone who always tries to be a neutral party. Like, like it's just, it's just not a good, a good look. I've seen you around the chat often. I'm not gonna fucking kick you out, but please don't do this shit in the future. It's just not a good thing to do. It doesn't look good. Can, 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 can conform to the standards we've laid before you. That's all we're fucking asking. Yeah, I almost if, didn't. I almost didn't believe it at first. I thought it was just like a joke with no punchline. I was like. What? Like, that's not very funny, but okay. But whatever. I, 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 I won't bring it up any further. Uh, put, you know, please just uh, respect the wishes of the people here while while you're in the chat. Let's. I, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say a dumbass fucking joke. Let's move Vorn. Orn? Oh my god. Orn, Orn with Dorn. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars music combo. I really appreciate that shit. Almost fifty people watching right now. Holy shit on a oh, shingle. Shit. Damn. <laughs> Much appreciated, guys. Um, sorry, sorry for that. But you know, we 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 try to make sure that this uh, community is a chill, friendly place as much as possible. Anyway, so like, if you guys end up liking this shit, drop a fucking like. I did have to watch half this fucking stream to find that one I'm... singular gem for you. So <laughs> I do my the research. Fact that he just says that Hitler was a good guy. Yeah, like what else? What do you really follow that even up with, right? I was um, gonna say this sinks even lower than when his mom made a pelt on the floor. Oh, oh, damn! Holy that's uh, shit. that's low. That, that, that's, that's fucked. That's, up. that's lower than. That's no, lower you know, than like a that, leprechaun's nutsack. Right yeah, that's there. yeah. We'll keep it to that. What I was about to say was perhaps not good for live air. Um, <laughs> ten girls, pet dragon. Oh, I came in. A I weird don't hear point. any disagreement. That's the problem. Talk of Hitler and now Frank hate. That's like, I don't want to dwell on the topic any further, but I don't understand how anyone dislikes Frank. Frank's just a great, fun dude to talk to. And he's really nice. So I don't know. That like, just, just my opinion. Just my fucking opinion. I, I like Frank quite a bit. Nah, uh, weird tribalism, but Mercury is in the microwave. The microwave? And What's lead's that? in the Lunchables. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I thought lead was in the paint of all the toys. We had a great episode of CSB recently where we talked about the lead in the Lunchables. Uh, yeah, movie. yeah, there there is actual lead in yeah. Lunchables, but you yeah, no. What up, dude, brothers? Oh God, That's explains right. how I turned out. Tell me that Astupam is in the Skettios now. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you know, I I, I remember like uh, Mango, you, you you fucking love Lunchables, don't you? So I'm sure that was. I simple. I do love some Lunchables. Uh, fun fact. Small human also loves Lunchables. Yeah, that's um. Teacher, I can understand. I can understand why you'd be Lunchables. fucking not just angry but pissed at that shit because. Uh, well, my whole thing is though. Uh, from the time that Small Human was like one to two years old, or just a little younger than one years old to two years old, we lived in a house that was built in the 50s so like a whole bunch of the blinds and the paint still had lead in them so it's not a big deal i was playing boulder's gate when i saw she and when i was listening to shani now that i see her what the fuck you know every, every every generation's oh, been oh. full of some weird shit right like there are people been full of lead now it's microplastics or whatever the fuck it is you know what i mean there's always yeah, been everyone's got the it, plastics it is what it is no matter what small humans still would have ended up with autism because like <laughs> i'm autistic as shit so whatever i don't care you know shani's can... so fucking fat i bet if they ever do an autopsy on her they're gonna find like macro plastics on there oh <laughs> also uh yami you were asking what she's wearing is that the fishnet? It's yeah. the fishnet bodysuit, the 8XL fishnet bodysuit. Oh, no. <laughs> Shani now cosplaying as bycatch from a fishery. 
I refuse the... to believe that was actually an option that you can buy. That was probably just a legitimate fish net that had to be fashioned <laughs> custom order. No, it was on their Amazon wish list. The and someone H bought it for XL them? Oh my god. Fish net bodysuit. And she wants to claim that she's only like 230 pounds and she's <laughs> lost some weight. Bitch, I'm like 200 pounds. I fit in a 2XL. Fuck you. I'm well, I mean, at least never my ass. And I have to fit in a 3XL because of my boobs and I hate it. At, uh, according to my doctor, <laughs> I have skinny girl boobs and wrists. I think it's because of my and, height. And, and wrists? Yeah. Yes. That's an awfully it's, specific thing to say. Yeah. Okay. It's oh, a weird no. thing. Uh, so, if you look at Shani's wrists, what she calls her mm -hmm. quote-unquote native wrists, Shani is one inch shorter than me. Her wrist blends into her hand and arm. My wrists, uh, my thumb and middle finger can touch each other going around my wrist. Yeah, my no matter what, I'm actually it. doing it right now. My, yeah. my middle finger and my ring finger around my wrist can actually touch each other. Yeah, um, like it's it's a whole thing. Skinny girl wrists are are a real fucking thing. I'm wearing my dude's bracelets right now because his dog likes to chew on them and they are pulled as tight as they can because otherwise they would fall the fuck off. Like <laughs> I um I would like to announce a new project that I'm that I'm gonna be working on. I'm not gonna give any context for what it is. I'm just gonna give you guys the name, okay? You guys are gonna have to make do with just the name. I'm working on a project right now simply called Kiwi Harms. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all the way off. You Would you like there. some body cam footage? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's official. It's official. Anna, I, I am just... No. Just no. Go in the corner. <laughs> what? The corner. This is my show yeah, on my you. birthday. I don't care. Go in the corner. Damn corner. This is the corner. one day of the, this is the one day of the year I felt comfortable making that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm invincible. You can't take me down. Like it's, my favorite, I will take you down. <laughs> my favorite thing about Anna's birthday is that it's exactly one week before four twenty, and Anna's yep. like a massive fucking stoner. <laughs> it, is, it is very perfect, isn't it? I've always oh, loved yeah. my birthday. We actually did some stuff over the weekend. Over an edible, I was offered a vape, but I said no. And oh my god, playing cards against humanity, well. Fucking high as a kite is the best thing ever. It's a fun time, yeah. <laughs> oh, it is a great time. Frank is threatening to come back in and put you in the corner. Oh shit! All oh, right, no. you know what? Fine, don't, don't fine. come yeah. back and put us in the basement. That'll be really weird. Fine, no more, uh, no more harm jokes for the next five minutes. All right, so uh, <laughs> they finally got Shani a whaling net. Thanks for the two dollars, Mister Woodhouse, and that's fucking. Do you that's think that the harpoon will come with it? Is it gonna be like a toothpick and a fucking? No, she's not gonna come. She, she's not gonna come pre harpooned. I mean, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, or just if she is, it's just a rev, and you know, a fold. So does that rev make uh, um, you know, a Moby Dick reference, and he's Captain <laughs> Ahab? Oh my god! I'll is be in the corner now. Is, is this Jason's? Uh, yeah, is this Jason's white whale? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't think he's got a harpoon long enough to finish it's the not, job. Wait, wait, it's not white, it's gray. Get out. Uh, there you go. There you go. This is it's Jason's a gray, gray whale. Sperm whale. That's fucking perfect. Sperm. Sperm. All right, so before we get Sperm. into anything serious relating to this, because um I sent I sent Mango a a, a clip I put out and and she did talk about it a bit. I do want to talk about that a bit as well, but there's also some some other stuff in this video I wanted to touch upon as well that I probably will make into eventually a a more uh, well put together comprehensive video on Underhaven Gold. So stay tuned for that. But in the meanwhile, we'll take a look at these timestamps I have here. This is nothing serious, but you all deserve to see it. Um, doing diamond painting, I have always. You hear that, Heon? You know it's coming, right? Uh... G Man needs some peanut butter. <laughs> oh no! I'm so tired of peanut butter. 
Oh, get get me No, G Man says something when he gets the peanut butter. Just listen oh, in closely. No. Oh, listen. oh yeah, that's right. That's listen right. close and that's listen right. good, okay? Listen close and listen good. He's wanted peanut to butter. do that. I peanut wanted butter. one. <laughs> peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut Why is he butter. saying it like that? Let's hear it. I don't more. know. Oh my god. When diamond pain and I have always wanted to do that. I Peanut wanted butter. one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> please, <laughs> please, D Man. I hope your fifth car is the cop car that hits you when you try to run. That would make me very happy. I'm so proud of that joke. I'm really <laughs> fucking proud of that joke. I, you know, it is gonna be a cop car that hits uh that hits G next. You fucking know yep. that to be true. Car Bye. number five. Bye. Yeah, we Bye. we'll have to get into that a little bit more in detail yeah, later. Yeah. But um, actually, probably right after this, since it does kind of all play together. Just remember, Anna, choosy harms, choose Jeff. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my lord! Um, so. Uh, so, uh, all right, let, let, let me show I this. Mean, let's sorry, just be happy that he didn't show off a peanut butter and jelly rice. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, God. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, yeah, that's, oh, a, that's, yeah. A, that's actually a creation that's a by thing. Jason. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a Rev classic, the peanut butter and jelly rice. That oh, man wow. needs to just die. <laughs> wow. I mean, well, I don't disagree. He, but... he actually might because apparently he's been like down in the basement area trying to fix the furnace on his own. Do it sooner, Jason. Just make sure when you're down there and it just decides to explode, don't walk away. Run towards, <laughs> run towards the light. Oh my! You're Lord. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like his only way out. Let's be real. Yeah, let's yeah. be fair. He needs to be fucking around. He can get at this point, and that might be his last he option. Need needs to see the light before he get grays out. He mm. grays out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. That's fucking perfect. All right, so let let's play this short. Some of you might have seen this before. Some of you may have not. But let's, let's yes, play this fucking He's short. going to fix it like David Anthony's brother. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that's terrible. But fucking hilarious. Exactly All right. Like so Anthony's we'll uh, we'll play the clip and then we'll provide the fucking context. I, I they All fixed right. they fixed the shorts and now it's back to normal. It used to be a fucking YouTube. All right. Well, that aside, we'll take a look at this, and I'll provide the context after. Um, both me and Mango can provide some context about what exactly is going to happen as a result of this. Lying about not having no money. I know for a fact that the uncle has been given no money. Somebody else on social media has been given no money. But somebody's got a really nice car in that driveway. And I'm going to get it on camera for people to see. So you can see it. I didn't do it the first time because I didn't have this with me. I'm going to try to do it this time so that you guys can actually see the car. Maybe 11 p.m. tomorrow, uh, 11 o'clock at night. I'm going to try to go there really early on Monday and let you guys see what I'm talking about. They got a really nice car in that driveway. And I think they're lying about their situation regarding not having no money. I think they're telling both these lies about it. Where some people have said that Rev has said that um, that they no longer have a car anymore because they couldn't afford the insurance and everything. And then all of a sudden they started asking for money for gas and everything. So I believe that was pretty suspicious, which is why I believe that car is, is his or the uncle was letting him borrow it. And I'm going to try to get a picture of it so that you guys can see. It's a pretty nice car he has. So G-Man basically uh, admits to his intentions to what I mean, this I, I'd say this is essentially like stalking behavior <laughs> towards yeah, Shani and Jason. It uh, is. What? Why go there? Why? What? What's the purpose? Just to prove uh, of a car? Uh, who cares? Who, who gives because... a flying fuck? Apparently, they don't have money, quote unquote. But the thing is, um, Shani and Rev, they have made jokes before about doing like a GoFundMe to get a new car. Mm -hmm. And they have asked for gas money before. But 
we all know that Shani doesn't take advantage of the free Medicaid rides to go to her doctor's appointment and like Rev drives her. Right. And Rev has been looking for jobs. He's gone over to the food bank and he's picked up food. So the car that he's been driving, a car that he's been driving since he got to Pennsylvania and got his license was his uncle's car. If it's the same red Cadillac, or at least the Cadillac with the red interior, the one that he was in the video after he got out of jail and was talking about how he knows what he did was wrong and shit like that. Yeah. Like, that's that's the same car he's been fucking driving. So, my point still stands. Why, G-Man? Oh, <laughs> well, he's trying to get clout with people like Carrie, essentially. So, tonight on Cops. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> Lord Seaver. <laughs> it was not a friend that got them any car. Uh, that was his uncle's car. Hello, Seaver. Hi, I'm Mango Jones. I'm a shaniologist. Uh, a shaniologist. <laughs> it, it, it was his uncle's car. Yeah, I, I trust anything that Mango has to say when it comes to these. Uh, yeah, you know what, Frank? It is your fault. Fuck you, Frank. Fuck you. How's this Frank's fault? <laughs> anyway, wow. so um, okay. What he say? He says I boy must and all the original Shani reactors. So yeah, and so, yeah. um. An anonymous, uh, an anon someone who remain wants to remain anonymous for now, uh, informed uh, Shani and Jason about that, and I personally think that that was the right decision. I, if I don't, I don't know if anyone in the chat or on panel disagrees, but like this is stalkerish behavior. Like just it because is. I don't like Sh oh, Shani yeah. and Jason doesn't mean that anyone should condone G Man doing this like weird vigilante shit. Uh, and, and we know that he's just doing it to get in the good graces of certain people right now. And, uh, you know, even though I do think that a lot of things that G-Man has been saying about Shani and Jason are correct, uh, this is just taking it way too far. And we need to know when to put uh, a line in the sand. And I already think that we shouldn't have trusted G-Man and no one should have. And I don't think we well, ever did here. But like, you know. No, because uh, G-Man, for multiple years, defended Shani and Rev. Oh, yeah. For he said that they didn't do anything wrong. The house was fine. They were taking care of the kids. There's a multitude of things that he stood behind. Then as soon as Shani and Rev called him out for some fuck shit, he was like, oh, the last time I was over at the house when they were living in my house before I sold it, guess what? They, uh, they had shit all over the place. It was trashed. It was dirty. It was disgusting. They weren't feeding the kids. Like, he suddenly turned on them. Of course, anyone with a sane fucking mind is going to be like, dude, you defended them. You actively defended them. Even after the video of the apartment tour from Colorado apartment number three came out, you fucking defended them. What? Yeah, this is absolutely yeah. fucking hypocritical of him. And, uh, you know, Todd also put it pretty well. Thank you for the $5, by the way, Todd. He wants Carrie's audience. Not very hard to figure out. That's exactly why I mentioned Carrie before anyone else, because I'm sure it's not just Carrie, but let, let's be honest. This is predominantly about Carrie. He brings up Carrie multiple times in the stream. G-Man is essentially, at this point, just fucking simping for Carrie. And it's sad to fucking see. Um, and it's also kind of fucking weird because she herself admitted to being on the phone with Shani while Rev was in jail when CPS showed up at the door and Shani hid the boys. Mm -hmm. Like Carrie said that herself in a TGR chat. I was Wait, there. Uh 
oh, now I know why he likes Carrie, because she's an abuser of kids, too, like Shania does. It all makes sense. Maybe that's his type. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, Let's see. I blame us and all the original Shani reactors for making it look easy to point idiots like G-Man. Who's Tetris Teeth? (laughs) Carrie. Carrie. (laughs) Tetris Teeth. (laughs) Which, by the way, Carrie, I still think you're a drunkard and kids are not your speed bumps. Okay. I want to let you know. My teeth are not perfect. My top teeth at this point are fucking dead, but I was abused. But at least I don't have fucking Tetris teeth. Yeah, sure. I mean, just like the, uh-huh. the, the, the I normally I don't joke about people's like physical attributes, but fucking Tetris teeth is one of the funniest things I've heard all fucking year. So yeah. yeah. Now every time I look at Kira, I can't help but think of the Tetris theme song. You asked for a screenshot of that. I went back to the stream that it was on, but the live chat replay was turned off. Who put Anna in the corner? Uh, All right, what the fuck happened? What what is going on? (laughs) So, uh, hi guys. Um, Hey, but no. uh, Don't worry, I'm not Billy. Don't worry, I'm not Billy. (laughs) I accidentally accidentally hit the camera button. Ah, which which kicks you out if you don't have a camera for some reason. Uh, Fucking amazing. I'm sorry. I'm not. Don't worry, I'm not Billy. I hope our viewership doesn't go up or down. I guess that would say a lot. All right, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just any Billy. It's Fat Billy. It's Fat Billy. It's Wide Billy, yes. Here, I'll just be frank with you guys. Oh, my Lord. All right. God. <laughs> so uh, I do want to put out something else that shows that G-Man is really trying to, like, go at this grift because he could have taken... Because he, he's not... All right, I'll just show you the fucking timestamp. It's just a, it's it's it was surprising to me when I first saw it, and uh, Hyun was there with me when I was watching this, so they'll be able to back up my my, my live reaction. But I was I was dumbfounded at this at, at first, and then I, it, then I understood what the the meaning was. So, uh, Frank, as soon as I refine the stream, I will let you know so that you can turn it back on. Hell yeah, yeah, that'd be useful to have that uh, screen because <laughs> I remember. Exactly when it happened, me and XX were in the chat and Carrie went off about it because it was the same day that Carrie revealed that uh, Shani called her to let her know that she had just fucked Rev after he got out of jail. Uh, Did you have to remind me of that day? What in the goddamn... It's official. I think I, I don't think I want to be on this world. I want to get out there right now. <laughs> I'm sorry that our podcast brought you this realization. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but 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 you're here for the ride, and now you know the rides. The ride's going downhill. Mm-hmm. Oh God! Look it's at that! Fucking, look at that mid-frame G-Man oh. demon. <laughs> the fire G-Man in the background a nice touch. A second. You know. All right, yeah. Let, let me fucking. That's a very rare G man, yeah. Blurry G man, as opposed to ashy. Oh, and it, yet he still doesn't look any better. He looks worse. I yeah, I know. Look at that, man. That's fucking on. That looks weird as fuck. Okay, I mean, this looks like some Mandela catalog bullshit. If those don't know your analog horrors, check that shit out. It's great. Crap. But this love like, analog horrors. It is. Yeah, that does look like analog horror, doesn't it? Like, it does, on. and I—it's really uncanny, and I don't like it. All right, let's move on then. Um, so <laughs> he, talks, he talks a bit about uh, he talks about a bit about Dragnaught here, and he doesn't take a pot shot, which I was surprised about at first. But I think he's just so dedicated to this attempting to like gain favor with Carrie, uh, you know, mm-hmm. by attacking Jason and Shane, that he's like so single minded that he doesn't even care about drag as much as he did before. Like he's still been which talking is about weird. Drag. Yeah, it is strange yeah. because like he treated he treated drag like his arch nemesis for a while. All he wanted to do was talk about fucking drag this, drag that for years. So it's pretty fucking strange. I actually think that Dragnut is involved in some sex trafficking scam or whatever. And you think that I'm somehow involved in in, in, in something like that too? Yep. You're stupid. 
I won't dignify that stupidity <laughs> with an answer. I know Drag spent a little bit of time talking, but I'm not. Barely any time. Like, he didn't talk about it for that long. <laughs> like, less than five minutes. Yeah, exactly. Like, less time than you spend talking about this shit, yeah. that's for sure. Wait, did yeah. Drag actually address it? Yes, yeah. he did. Yeah, yeah. He, I heard. he addressed it in a very short, like, his usual no-shirt style video. Oh, I didn't right. see that. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll have to send that your way. Yeah. All right, let's continue. We can actually take a look at that later, I suppose. Yeah, we can. Okay, I like my brain cells where they are. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's where they are. Or a lack thereof. Oh, my lord. Brain cells on the hood of the car? No, under the hood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> under huh? the hood. Hey. Oh, hey. I get it. I get it. That man, that face, that face of G Man's making looks like he just heard the joke. <laughs> that cream on his back, <laughs> and it's making him very tired. Yeah. <laughs> you have allowed this woman to to talk you out of not drinking no more. Like that's the bad. Like that's the worst thing you could bring up about Shanny. I'm sorry, not, not drinking uh, anymore. I'm sorry. Um, he's, he's still drinking. Yeah, I was going to say, wasn't it you that pointed out the one can that was yeah. literally a yager? Yeah, a yeah. Yager, it, was a, it was a yingling. Yeah. Yingling, yeah. Yingling. Uh, you can tell in I my think. chat, we call it a dingling. <laughs> my dingling, my dingling. But yeah, it was uh, in my chat that, like, we were reviewing that video. I paused and I was like, wait a minute. I know that fucking can. And I was so, the first person to point out that Rev was on stream drinking a yingling. Now, question. Is bad. it actually good or is it nasty? What, yingling? Uh, ying, yingling yeah. isn't that bad. I um, think it's okay. I've had it before. Yeah, it, it's, it's not, not bad. bad for, a, for a macro brew, I think it's pretty okay. Ah. It, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. Yeah. And those tall cans that he gets are like a dollar thirty, dollar forty cheaper than the glass bottle. So, mm. fair enough. All right. To being a bona fide crackhead. Are you talking Doing, about yourself? Doing crack and cocaine. <laughs> to get <laughs> high. <laughs> That's what you love. You have destroyed my brain, Manga. I'm sorry, but I'm everybody not. needs that crack now, and cocaine. Every time I hear crack or cocaine, There's terrible trouble behind. I started singing that at work. <laughs> oh my god! Sugar, massive, <laughs> you know what the, you know what really sells it for me. Uh, is is and when, when in Mango stream it play it, when she's playing that video and it. And Shandy just eats the fucking cocaine or crack like 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 Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's the funniest that's a, thing ever. That's the fat photog edit. Oh and my I god. Always, fat fat photog, we fat salute photog. you. <laughs> Honestly, Man, mango streams are the only thing that gets me through like outbounds because I have to talk to people <laughs> and I'm sitting here, I'm like, I don't like this. Oh great, mango's on. I'll get through it. G Man's really not amused with our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at that. Can you screenshot that? Yeah, he sure, looks pretty sour. You should use Oh, this what's the matter? Look. Did you realize that no one loves you? It's okay. No, you you gotta don't die you, alone. This would make a funny thumbnail for one of your streams. <laughs> Uh, That's the you. face he makes when Carrie rejects him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it was all for nothing. It was all for nothing. <laughs> Oh, Carrie's gonna have big words about this if she ever finds out. Oh, I hope I so. I don't know about big ones. I but... really hope so. Because <laughs> if I... it's not hooves on the board, it's me. If it's not me, it's Widow Son. If it's not Widow Son, then it goes back to hooves on the board. We're like the trifecta of fucking making shit on Carrie. I tend to like not talk shit on someone I like don't know personally, but I've never heard a good thing about Carrie from anyone. So. Uh, oh, she oh. is cunt. So, uh, my one of my biggest issues with Carrie is not only the whole Shanny stuff, 
but it's also the fact that uh, I took the time, the effort, and the energy to work with BGTV, and I got him that body cam footage. I remember that. Yeah, because we were talking about it in Discord, and you're like, I finally got it. And it spent a lot of money on that shit. Like, me and BGTV, we split the cost. And he was actually, like, really happy about... He was actually surprised by the fact, really, that I split the cost with him. Because I was like, Mm -hmm. dude, I got half if you got the other. So, in my Google Drive right now, I have that footage without his watermark. But I have never released it without the watermark because we went 50 50 on that Mm -hmm. he's the one that wanted it i made sure that could happen and he has given me every single little bit of credit about it after him and nova got done reviewing that footage live he said if you want the link to it hit me up I will send you the link. You can use it. Because it was privated at that time. Carrie could not wait. She could not hit him up. Yes, she did give him proper credits. And he was in chat. But what she did was skip over the commentary. And she skipped over the fact that there was a second fucking person involved in getting that fucking footage. Yep. And I'm pretty sure we had a good laugh that day because half of the shit she was getting wrong. She wasn't even listening to you in chat. And she did, she did basically the first thing that she did on uh, Jewels and Toast. When they got a video, she did not wait, as usual, and just started spouting her bullshit. And I watched that uh, chat. I even gave her a super chat because I didn't know at the time. But then when I started watching more and, you know, started talking to some folks, I was like, nope, never. And I unsubbed. And ever since then, I've been pretty much shitting on her. You know what the unfortunate part about this is? Is is something that you can find all around this fucking platform because YouTube promotes shit journalism. I'll call it journalism in quotes because it basically, if you actually put investment into like, you know, figuring shit out, we're pretty lucky that this channel is growing. I'm actually really mm-hmm. surprised this channel is growing because the you know I try to put research into the into a- almost every fucking episode. There's some there's some time and effort put into making sure that you know I I, I get some sources that are you know double checked to make sure that I'm not putting out fake news for you guys. And uh, you know when it comes to you know content like this with the little cows, I try to get timestamps for you guys. I try to do my research so the show is as well put together as fucking possible. But YouTube doesn't reward that shit. What YouTube rewards is people who just can sit there as much as they fucking want and, uh, you know, stream as much as they fucking want and just put out whatever bullshit they want with no fucking responsibility to what they're actually fucking watching or talking about. And that's what it rewards, that consistency, not necessarily the, uh, the, the dedication to actually getting shit right, which is really fucking shitty to see because you see disingenuous fucking people rise to the top all the time simply because they have the time to dedicate and the luck to actually make it in the algorithm. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, what's up? Uh, five, five dollars from Todd. Ta- Carrie still thinks you all, I'm sorry. Carrie thinks all you have to do is link the channel and the person who did the work should actually thank her. She's a selfish biatch. Yeah, that's uh, a very oh, yeah. parasitic view on content. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people who treat content like that these days. It's not even like, obviously, people know this. It's not even a fucking issue exclusive to this community and, and like people like Carrie. Uh, there's always been fucking people like that. There's a huge fucking debate going on right now in the wider fucking community when it comes to just like the internet in general, when it comes to content creation and like, you know, what's considered to be truly transformative one and what isn't when it comes to reactions and shit like that. So. Yeah, I, I, it's, oh, yeah, it's really shitty to see the people who actually create the content being swept under the rug while people who are reacting to it in a lot of cases get even more fucking views simply because they know how to fucking play the algorithm or they just lucked into it or some combination of both. 
rather than the people who are actually putting this eff the effort into this content, which in which some cases takes like weeks to put together. That's the fucking shitty thing, right? Is like mm -hmm. all this effort is being put into these things, and the reactors are putting in minimal effort constantly, consistently, and they're the ones reaping the most reward. And YouTube has set it up to to be the system that works the most. I know we react to shit on this channel, but like I said, I, I put my research into the show. This is yeah. not a podcast that we do all the time either. We do this once a week, maybe twice. You know what I mean? And when I do my, my, my other streams, it's it's usually pretty still well put together. Even when we do the fucking fruit bowl streams where it, it, you get what you come for, right? It's just us shooting the yeah. fucking shit and having a fun time. Oh, We're yeah. not trying to treat, and, like, treat it like it's anything else. And that's one of the good things about your streams on here or the free range fruit bowls is that if you don't know the information, it's very likely someone else on panel knows the fucking information and has done the research prior. Not only that, but we have different experiences and we're able to explain what we've been through from that experience. Exactly. A hundred percent. That's why I like, and I enjoy, ha I really like, I've enjoyed having guests on here too. It's been really fucking great. Uh, and I, I, I do, I really love like the cast, like the, the, the main rotation that we've been having going on because like we all have, I feel like we all serve like such an interesting dynamic when it comes to what we have to offer as a panel. And it, it's really refreshing to get a guest in here to have like a new perspective. And that's what I've, I, I've missed doing that so much. That's why I've been inviting people on here again. And I'm just like, wow, you know, it's really <laughs> nice to have a panel like this where we can get so many different fucking perspectives. And sometimes we have other people on here. Sometimes Fit joins, sometimes Mud joins. And they bring their own interesting fucking perspectives, which is and mud unique, also unique makes really bad of. jokes. Yeah, mud <laughs> makes really bad fucking yeah, jokes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. love mud. Mud's I don't an absolute care what fucking pleasure does. to have I on. I love though. that man. Yeah, yeah, no, he's an absolute fucking pleasure to have on every fucking time. Uh, I, I, everybody who's in like our our, our regulars chat, who we have and who, who we're gonna have on here regularly going forward in the future, uh, I, I really do feel like they have a place on this show. And uh, I want—I do huh. want to thank Yami for for agreeing to come on here, at last minute at that. <laughs> and um, uh, it's just—it's been a—it's been an absolute pleasure having you on here so far. So uh, of course, you. I always love, and I keep telling every time I come up to a panel, I'm always just the disembodied voice that just caused chaos. <laughs> so also, if you guys want to try and strike a channel, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> also, a uh, spherical man brought up something. Uh, like when I wanted to be corrected by Mango about the differences between tubes, tide, and periods. So one thing that mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people that don't have uteruses have a problem understanding is Shani constantly bringing up her period. Shani had her tubes tied. Uh. She had her tubes tied after child number two. But the thing is, uh, just because your tubes are tied does not mean you won't have a period. Mm -hmm. I your mean, I have an IUD. I still get periods. It's just... Yeah. Uh, your mm -hmm. uterus still builds up that lining. It still sheds. And by the way, for people with uteruses that don't know this, even if you get your tubes tied, there's still like a 3% chance that you'll get pregnant. Just so you know. Oh, yeah. And I don't, it doesn't matter if it's like actual tied or like snipped and lasered or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As, if, if that egg can get there, it's going to fucking happen. Like, also, is it true that if you get your tubes tied, it's actually more likely to get like those pregnancies where it's in the uh, phalangeal tube? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, That's what I thought. Most of the time, if you have your tube side and you end up getting pregnant, it will be an ectopic pregnancy and you run the risk of a whole bunch of other issues. Which, yeah, ladies, no. <laughs> you can actually die from it. <laughs> so be careful, please. People with uteruses. Yeah, that too. Hi. Oh! <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, we're moving on. So I've got an announcement for everyone. Oh, it's no. Only, it's not. There's only an announcement for some of you, I suppose. But uh, Mr. Dapperton's a fucking furry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Dapperton's yeah. a fucking furry. Oh, wait, we already knew that. 
We already knew so, this. Yes, Wait, he has the entire, as in reptile he has or? entire video out with him as a dinosaur. Remember? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He yeah, he right. was trans species. Oh, oh God. yeah. Are you oh, yeah, but that was supposed to be a joke, and and now like because this is a little bit old. This came out, and this isn't that old actually. It's only two years old, a little bit. But yeah, yeah this, this was this was around the same time he put out that video. Wait, what, how serious was he about this though? It's it's me, Dadasaurus, still working on my catchphrase. Well, did he ever he, decide? No, he put out a whole video right after this post. Remember, we watched it. Oh my god. I... I can, Jesus Christ! Yeah, I, I I remember the video, but I I I, I did, forgot the whole. Uh, I I forgot that he yeah, took this he, seriously. He did this whole like trans species thing, and was being transphobic as fuck the entire time. And it still and, irks me. So wait, he's a transphobic furry, and also um, he might be a yeah. fucking Nazi apparently. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, let me I bring. I should be surprised by that, but I'm not. I, yeah, well, I, he... I, I, I never am. He's a self-described <laughs> anarcho-capitalist. Let's take a look at the fucking picture here. Oh, um, that's about to be beautiful. Yeah, we'll take. Well, a look no, at he's it. now a libertarian. Remember? A libertarian. libertarian. Oh yeah, right. He rebranded to a libertarian. Wait, how can look a libertarian Nazi? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So this wrong. is a. Uh, for full context, this is apparently a bit that Mr. Dapperton did for a video a while back. But Jesus fucking Christ, Mr. Why is Dapperton. That's what Dapperton, Dapperton looks like? Yeah, that's Mr. Dapperton. Why is look, he... I, okay. I've never seen the fact that, like, he's got tattoos and shit, but the way that he speaks, you would think that he's, like, a four foot ten fat neckbeard. <laughs> this mustache just is everything. I know. I'm from the south <laughs> and General Lee was my role model. Oh my god! <laughs> is, is 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 he is he giving the Hitler salute or is he confusing it with the Boy Scouts? No, it's just the Nazi salute. <laughs> Doing the Nazi salute. <laughs> oh my god! Samperton. <laughs> I hope you see this. You look like a fucking noob. <laughs> and he hey, called me a bitch once. Like, what? <laughs> hey, Mr. Dapperton, I've got a very important message for you. You've been played like a piddle. You've been played like a piddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, um, technically not a doc because he posted it himself. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he, he posted that video himself, so not a doc. Yeah, yeah, he, it's not a dog. Yeah. I would not post that if he if that was not. Well, it was. I mean, th okay, let's be entirely fair though. I th I think it's pretty obvious this was from like a video. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> this is not just like a selfie he took or anything. Like, <laughs> and if it was, I think I'd have some serious uh, issues. No, here I have a question. Why does he own that flag? Oh, oh no, no no! I think, you, that, I think that's just that's keyed in. That's I, I think key. Yeah, there there has something. to be keyed in. There's no way that he would own that flag. Yeah, I don't and, think he owns it. But at the same publicly. time, the way that it looks behind him, that looks like he owns that flag. I get it. It, it looks pretty. Does. It does look pretty convincing, doesn't it? But I don't think he actually does. Um. Okay, but here's the thing, though. What if he does? Oh, no, Oh, okay. Maybe I should be a possibility. <laughs> The way that you, you're not helping standing, Look, the way that he's standing in front of it, the way that it's hung and everything, Dapperton, do you own that flag? And if you do, why? I presume that's the only thing hung about Mr. Dapperton. It's, it's finally <laughs> uh, collecting World War II uh, memorabilia. Oh. It's a relic. <laughs> look, look here, listen. It's one <laughs> thing if my Oma, who lives in Bubling in Germany, has certain relics from World War II because not only was she born and raised during that time, but uh, her boyfriend who passed away had family that was a part of that stuff. And so she has certain things, right? Mm -hmm. That's one thing. But if you were born and raised in the U.S. and you own that type of thing, sir, why? 
I have the same questions when people own the southern flag. I don't understand. So, oh, um, yeah. The Confederate yeah. flag. Yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, Mr. Dapperton opened up a new fucking channel. He's been trying to rebrand and, and, and move. You know how Mango <laughs> brought up that he was rebranding as a libertarian recently? Because we figured that out. <laughs> oh, good night, Frank. Good night, Frank. Good night, Frank. Thank you for joining us. Good night, Frank. Nice this this rebranding does not look any better. I'm sorry. No, it it it, it looks it looks worse. Oh my lord! All right, so yeah, Mr. Dapperton's Mr. Dapperton's trying to rebrand, and him with his 1,000k fucking channel, uh, has tried has tried to get as many people over here as possible, and he he, he ended up with uh barely any more fucking subs than I believe fucking CSB has right now, so. <laughs> I guess our ability to help grow wow. fucking another channel is thanks is, for that. What? Oh, you're a new channel, Heon. Yeah, yeah, that's the fucking point. You're yeah. a new channel, and this is a guy with a hundred thousand fucking k who can't even fucking scrunch up fucking this many more. Uh, well, uh, okay, that. All right, all right. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not taking a fucking shit uh, on your channel. I'm saying it's crazy that our, our little corner of the internet has been able to help support you build up a channel better than this guy yeah. has. With, with the fucking resources he has as a channel that he is, is his fucking big. You know what I mean? He has, like, literally a hundred times the fucking subs of any of us. Yeah. Right? On this main fucking and channel. And he, he can't even pull that. It's kind of like how Dave has, like, 10.8k subscribers, and yet when he's asleep, he can pull in 35 people watching him fucking snooze off the fucking Coors Mountain. Exactly. But yeah. on any other given day, it's maybe like 10 or 15 people tops. I'm going to give him con some constructive criticism. What he says right here is like the most like telling thing to me. I make non-political content about whatever I want. To me, that says no fucking direction, Daps. Yeah. I got to be entirely uh, fucking honest. With you. Not only that, but so he decides to go from Nazi Germany to this. And no, this to, is not. And I his mean, first video is about 70 shows that had a black family to 2024 of a black cartoon. What is wrong uh, with you, no, That Nazi thing was so, quite a while ago, uh, to be fair. He's talking about good times because good times they had the 1970s show, and recently they released the trailer for the Netflix cartoon version. Why which... make it a cartoon? The 70s oh, was no. No, the cartoon is actually so fucking bad. Like, oh god, how, how the bad trailer. are we talking? We're talking, uh, like Proud Family bad, or no, Proud Family is fucking great. Uh, actually, Proud Family recently they addressed the whole uh autism thing. Because Ooh. BB got diagnosed with autism. Aww. And it was actually really, really well done. Like, kudos to them for doing it the way they did. Um, Always nice to see some good <laughs> Song of the South bad. Oh, God. Um, oh, no, it, it's... it's <laughs> um, so the baby in the... Netflix cartoon version of Good Times is a fucking drug dealer. Yeah, Daps, oh my god, Daps they did family. That oh unit. no, I, I did watch this. I did watch this video because he sent it to me and he asked for feedback. And I'm not gonna shit on him for moving out of politics. Like, if he, if he wants to talk about entertainment, I think he should give it a shot. Honestly, but I don't know. I don't know if this was the first thing to start with. But times a name that evokes memories of a groundbreaking sitcom from the 1970s. Known for breaking stereotypes and showcasing the resilience of a working class African American family. But now there's a new incarnation of Good Times on Netflix in town. How does it compare? Let's. Oh my uh, God. It uh. shouldn't even compare. It's like. Yeah. No. So, so yeah, I mean, I. It really is just like. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty fucking straightforward review, saying a lot of what what you guys were talking about. Like it's, it it, it doesn't seem like a faithful <laughs> recreation of the show. It seems like it sucks. And I was talking with him a little bit because he did ask for my feedback, and I was like, yeah, I mean, it seems like a, a lot of the time these days, 
this doesn't seem to be like a, a unique to this type of situation. But sometimes there will be like an animated show or a live action show, whatever the fuck it is. There'll be a there'll be a show that they have in mind that they want to do, and they're like, "What fucking you know previously named property can we attach this to?" Because a lot of fucking companies these days are so afraid to take you know the plunge on a fully unique property that they just want to mm -hmm. attach it to something. So at least it'll generate some free outrage clicks and attention I online for people who like the original. You know what I mean? One good show that's from Netflix that has been a very good adaptation from a video game to a, a cartoon show. What's that? Castlevania. All yeah, three that, that, seasons I, have been fucking fantastic. That show is pretty fucking great. I will say that. Mm hmm. So uh yeah, so Mr. Dapperton, if you end up seeing this, I want you to leave a comment. What what uh what what catchphrase did you end up deciding on for Datasaurus? I genuinely want to know. So you know, I'll, okay. I'll, 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 so uh Dead Jason Todd said that it's a uh, Seth MacFarlane, nobody should be surprised. The creator is actually Renata Shepard. Okay. Wait, who's not uh, a shepherd? She has made Born Again Virgin, Unrelated, Connecting, Act, Act Your Age, and Good Times. And she was a co executive producer for the Lizzie McGuire revamp that didn't go through. Uh, Seth MacFarlane is only an executive producer. He doesn't uh -huh. have much of anything to do with the creation. Gotcha. Also, what the what the All right. heck? So, um, you know what I'm surprised about, Mango? You probably already know what I'm going to fucking say. There has not been an update from Jason or Shani in the form of a video on, like, the whole cops thing. I thought that they were going to try and milk that as soon as possible for some, like, cheap money. You know what I mean? Or something like that. I'm really surprised we haven't seen anything out of them yet. I wonder if... Do you think maybe they actually took it seriously? Maybe. Y you know what? Y yeah, I have reason to believe that. I do have... Re I have genuine reason to believe that they took it seriously. So, so yeah. I, I think they probably did. So, maybe they actually aren't going to talk about it until... I mean... Jason made it very, very fucking clear in previous videos that I've gone over, that we've gone over on here, that he does not want G-Man to have anything to do with him. He requested no contact, do not call, do not text, do not show up. He also got really fucking mad at the fact that G-Man gave Draven his phone number. What? Yeah. G-Man gave Draven Rev and Shani's phone number. G-Man's turning into a That's fucking straight-up That's how Draven got that number? Oh my yep. fucking god. G-Man has definitely been turning into a straight-up fucking stalker. If he wasn't already, I mean, I don't know the whole story with G-Man. I'm sure he's done that shit before. Don't get me wrong, but... Uh I don't know if he's ever done, like, this stuff. I mean, he's done some really shit. terrible shit. Ma Mango, has he ever engaged in this type of behavior previously? Uh, mm. Not that no. I'm aware of. Yeah, I mean, I've watched him with drag over the years, and he's never done this much shit like this. So this is kind of new. Wait, this stalkerish behavior is new? Really? Yes. Yes, Whoa, because okay. the only thing that he's ever done was threaten drag over video to come down and such, but he's never gone far as to actually go. Yeah, that was just a bunch of fucking, you know, puffing yourself up like a blowfish internet fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? But yeah, for him to actually start taking this into real life, mm -hmm. like, oh, genuinely uh, stock behavior, like there was nothing wrong. That's okay. Moo, why are people surprised by G-Man doing this? Because... This is genuinely a new low, right? a new behavior. Yes, he has yeah, gone to like Shani it. and Rev's house, the uncle's house, uh, 
Shani allegedly called him the N-word. But he's never gone so far as to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to show up there late at night and take pictures of the car. Uh, Lucifer Almighty says, yes, he's given out phone numbers. I suppose that, uh, yeah, that still does quantify as doxing. Oh, uh, yeah. He, do he doxed Nate. Oh, yeah. He's oh, doxed okay. people okay. multiple he's, times. He's, if he's, he's done the doxing shit before. He's given out phone numbers. He's shown full names and stuff like that. But he Lock has children. never been like, I will show up at their house and take a picture of the fucking car late at night or super early in the morning. That's a yeah. new behavior. Yeah, that that's fair. I I, I definitely get I get what people are saying because it, I I guess it's not surprising G Man would engage in some behavior. I don't think any of us are surprised by it, but it definitely is a new behavior, and that's something to take note of. You know what I mean? I so. think it. Yeah, it's not surprising. It's more alarming that he has decided willingly to go through with it. The fact that he's even talking about it, planned it. And almost to the stages of actually doing it. We'll have to wait until Monday. But this is something completely new with G-Man all over the place. We're used to, like, his name calling, his videos, his uh, accusing Burt Toast of being 16, uh, locking what? a child inside of a store. Um, I haven't even heard people. all of these myself. It's like, fucking hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, try... Uh and him have been gone back for years, but... Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, to that's why fair, fucking G-Man treats him like his arch nemesis for some reason. To mm -hmm. be fair, Toast is a whore and a former prostitute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to be fair? To be fair. To be, be fair. fair. But, oh, Anna clearly hasn't seen that uh, music video that Toast put out of G-Man calling her a whore and a former prostitute. <laughs> Yes, it is a great music video. Also, Cream on his back. That's another good one, too. Oh, and of course, he has to uh, pray away the gay thoughts. How's oh, that going yeah. for you, G-Man? <laughs> oh, I found a shirt that I really wanted to get G-Man. And me and uh, Miss Parker were talking about it. And we might actually do it, like, next year. But it says, I survived g the gay thoughts. <laughs> G stands for gay. G stands for gay. <laughs> See, Yami gets me. <laughs> I get so what's up next, Anna Banana? Stuff here. We got some other stuff here. Uh, we got mm. we, we got a couple news stories. We got some uh, we got some silly shit we can make fun of. Uh, hell, you know, I do want to say we got we've had pretty consistently a ton of people watching tonight. This show has just been growing. It's been consistently growing. I really appreciate it. It's been incredible to fucking see. It's been, you know, humbling in a way, too. It's It's been fucking crazy. I, I really do appreciate just how fucking great it's been. So I want to thank every single one of you who's helped make the show grow in the way it has. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really happy to see it. I think that we have a great dynamic going on here. I'm real proud of the audience that we've built up. I'm... Just, I, I don't know. I don't know how to put it into words. Just thank you, everyone who's part of this experience. Whether you're a live listener or just someone, you know, who watches after or someone on panel, you know, you're all a big part of this and I appreciate it. So thank you. Anytime, uh, man, a banana. Yeah. But, okay, before we get into the news stories, oh boy. can we talk about the maniac? That lied to actual Jake. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah we right, need because to, we need I to have that. words. Oh, please. Right. Oh, the tea. Yeah. Let, let me let me bring up a picture first because I need to bring up a picture that represents the segment, okay? Oh, this that would be good. You're in the picture. Oh wait, that's a that's a one-off show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that bit is that works. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even know the context, and I feel like this fits. <laughs> All I right. So, um, so, so, yeah. So, there was someone that we had to remove from our community recently. If you watched the recent, I think this happened live, right? Didn't we actually have to remove uh, this person live? Okay. Uh, so, what had happened was, yeah, go ahead. I was doing a live stream. At mm -hmm. the time that this incident happened, there were maybe 20 people watching there were three accounts 
that kept commenting. And then the per like, I noticed a speech pattern. And I was like, that looks familiar. And then they said, oh, yeah, these two accounts are also mine. And I was like, okay, were you on Discord under the name Prince at one point? Please don't lie to me. Be honest. And they were like, yeah, that was me. Uh, but Anna knows my change. So I just straight up told them, look, I can't deal with this. I also do not appreciate people using someone that I have been friends with for seven plus years. As like a scapegoat to be fucking weird in my chat. Like, I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. I've got to get rid of you. I'm done. And this person already like lied previously about knowing me better than they had. Which is already yeah. a huge red flag. Like, why are you saying this? They claimed that they knew Anna for a long time when Anna had only known them for, like, two days. At the time that they initially claimed that they knew Anna for a long time. Like, I've been friends with Anna for fucking years. There's a huge difference. And so I booted them the fuck out. And Anna was sick at the time and unfortunately woke up to like 51 messages from Prince. I'm not exaggerating. That's a very specific number for a reason. 51 oh, fucking messages from one person. Yeah. And that could have easily been yeah, like I was three actually paragraphs. At work when you paragraphs. said that you had to boot this person off and then we just got back to the show. Yeah. yeah. So, something that could have been like literally could have been condensed into like two paragraphs came to me as 51 and, messages. It was and the thing is gross like anna was asleep at the time anna had been being like anna had been sick anna was sleeping mm -hmm. they woke up to this shit and was like i genuinely don't know what you're on about because anna sent me some screenshots and they were like you can't claim ignorance just because you weren't there excuse me <laughs> what Okay, so, okay, please and repeat that, but very slowly. Apparently, Anna cannot claim ignorance because they were not there. <sighs> <laughs> I know, I, it's as ridiculous as it sounds. I'm I supposed wish to be the Sprite bottle was vodka, but it's not, I'm... I, and we've had to I'm deal with this person for now. quite a while, because I try to have a high tolerance for people. Right. Yeah. You um, know, I try to give people a chance if they, especially if they're not doing anything inherently wrong. But this person was just being so consistently fucking toxic over time. And I, at first it just seemed, you know, basically like they were just annoying. Right. And, yeah. See, yeah. And but, on fucking CSB number four, we had started to run long and I wasn't watching the chat, but Mango damn near flew out of her fucking seat. Because Prince popped up one mo again. Yeah, Prince and, popped up, and I was like, man, oh, that's awful. The way that Prince popped up, they tried to place all of the blame of them getting booted from my chat onto me. Told me to not bring Anna into shit when they had been the person that brought Anna up in the first place in my mm -hmm. chat. And I was like, I'm pissed the fuck off. I need to fucking go. Yep. Wait, wait. So it's your fault for taking care of your chat. And that was wrong. It's, it's my fault that I wanted to protect my peace. And wanted to get rid of them without issue and get rid of them because, first off, they're annoying. Like, I like it. Look here, listen. I am also <laughs> autistic. I also have social issues. I have these particular problems, but I don't take it to the same extreme that they were doing 
I feel like I'm part of the audience and just feel like this person's really fucking nuts and stupid. <laughs> yeah. But it, it got to the point that I could no longer handle it. So I got rid of them. And the fact that they brought Anna up going, they know my change. Does she? Uh, pro- no. <laughs> Does she really? Because like last time I checked, you claim to know Anna for a long time and had only known her for two days. Like, again, seven plus years here. Don't don't try and pull the wool over my fucking eyes. I am actually trying. To, I'm actually right now taking some screenshots of the next part of the story, because as you know, this accelerates into something else. Because oh, at, please at, continue. <laughs> after we exiled this person from our community, they started trying to go into actual Jake's community the corn cobs and uh, trying to spread some fucking bullshit lies about yours. Truly about you and me, mango, you oh, and hey. me fucking brought up. Yeah. in the fucking oh. corn cobs community. Yeah. Uh, Mari is right. We were also talking about a heavy subject and was True. kind of exhausted. Yeah. Uh, in he on channel, we were talking about a really fucking heavy topic. Yeah. yeah very. The courtesy of Dave. One. A very and, important one, though. But yeah. yeah. And Prince came in, like, trying to be a jackass. And it, it just set me off. All right. I'm going to be taking oh, two more screenshots. The last one's the best one. It'll, it'll really fucking show the justice that was shown here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, no, the... the there was some law that was laid down. I'm going to be in time. Mm. Down the law. Lay down the law. I can't believe that Prince would bring me up in Jake's community. When I, 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 don't, I don't fucking do anything when it comes to Jake. Yeah. The I mean, one, I... The one interaction I had with Jake, he fucking yelled at me. Yeah, I remember I that. don't even know who the fuck Jake is. Actual Jake. <laughs> Uh yeah, eh. formerly formerly of the Bible Reloaded, if you ever remembered if you ever heard of that channel. Uh, uh, uh Bible Reloaded with Hannah and Jake. Yeah. Yeah. I uh what? Yes, Red Shot, Jake from State Farm. <laughs> I have an issue with Jake from State Farm. <laughs> I don't like his khakis. <laughs> so um hey, what's up, Red Shot? Nice to see you. So this isn't the first thing. If I showed you if I showed you all this shit, then it would go on forever. But it, this is one of the first things. Uh, so here's one thing that they said. True, but aside from Underhaven, I put the ha- the past behind me. <laughs> Smiley face. Okay, then you didn't put the fucking past behind you. Why are you beefing with me? <laughs> I'm like such a like a silly person to have a beef with because I'm never gonna indulge someone. I'm almost never gonna indulge someone's desire to have it. Honestly, it's just not the type of person I am. Uh, even, even the fucking people that we interact with and shit on here on Underhaven, you know, I tend to not be that fucking aggressive towards them. Uh, but, you know, th- th- they go on. I did see Underhaven as a friend for a while, but later on, I didn't see much of a friend in Underhaven at the very, at the very, at the very in when I was backstabbed by Anna Underhaven because she talked to Mango and then I cut those contacts off. I still have a DM that proved it. Oh my god. Wow. Wait, so because you talked to I'm sorry, what'd you say? Uh, I'm... My brain just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> because I just realized how stupid that sounded. Because oh Anna talked to me and I told Anna the truth of how that interaction went. Yes. <laughs> Yummy.exe yeah, uh, stopped working. Hi, Blonde. Hey, Blonde. Uh, Prince tried to tell Anna that I brought Anna into it when Prince was the person that brought Anna up. Yeah. <laughs> Stop talking to mangoes and start talking to pineapples. And, like, who the fuck are we going <laughs> to believe? The, pe- the people that, the like, me and Mango are going to believe each other over someone that we had, have no idea about, right? Because we we know each other. We fucking trust each other. And, like, this person has only ever put out fucking bullshit lies. So what the fuck else are we supposed to assume? Even early on, we got a bunch of red flags from this person, right? Yeah. So, 
Why the fuck would we believe a single thing they said? We talked about it in the fucking staff chat. You know what? Yeah, we did. Pineapples, they don't go good on ham, so. (laughs) Talk to apples. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Especially if you chuck it really hard. I, I, yeah, this is just a, a, chuck it really hard. This is just a straight up fucking paragraph. At least it's a paragraph and not fifty messages. But goddamn, um, let's see the next one. Um, oh, okay. So I find here. I want to show this one off because I finally fucking stand up for myself. Because I didn't see this until after like a big fucking spiel was said. Huh? Funny how that works. Um, so yeah, I, w- I was accused of defending Dave here, and I say I haven't defended Dave ever. I take a more direct approach to getting him getting him to approve himself. I'm not a dick to most people because it ain't my nature, but I've given up on Dave for a while now. He's just too far gone. Now that's how I genuinely feel. Let's talk civil and DM. Then I say, can't just spam the chat with a bunch of untrue shit and then say that. Yeah. <laughs> they they were saying Wait. like n- numerous <laughs> slander shit. Like saying that I defend someone who defends Dan Schneider is um slanderous, I would say. So yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. With all the shit that Dave's been saying lately. <laughs> What is that news to you? When has anyone defended Dan Schneider? Oh, Dave defends Dan Schneider. Dave defends Dan Schneider, but apparently he forgot that he did. Allegedly, Uh Uh uh-huh. Convenient forgetfulness. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Just like selective hearing, so you know. And um, the oh man, we're we're saving the best one for last because uh, I have selective assholeism. I I I don't know if someone I don't I don't know if someone Mm. kicked Pearl or, or they left. But um, <laughs> I'll take a look what Corn Cob had to say when all was said and done. All right, I will. Hell yeah, I will give Jake that. That yeah, that's yeah. a beautiful response. I, no, I Jake, also, Jake, Jake could tell the red flags early on too. I could tell. Mm. I also do understand that. Jake's first interaction and only interaction with me was very, very high strung. Uh, oh, yeah. There was, was already was a incredible. bunch of shit going on. Um, so I get that. I understand that. I'm not a complete and utter fucking bitch. But he still could have handled it better. Oh, definitely. I, I definitely Absolutely. agree with that. Absolutely. Even in a high stress situation like that, I I I still th- I think he should. You mean to tell me that you're actually accepting this like an adult? Whoa, no. that's crazy! Shocking. Holy shit balls! Uh, Holy balls on! How dare I? I it's know. almost thirty two yeah, years old. It's like as if you're acting your age instead of your shoe size. So um. <laughs> I was considering putting this on CSB, but I actually did want to talk about this because I, I personally have a whole lot to fucking say about this. And, um, I, you know, I also felt like it could be a good fit for Unterhaven. So, um, we'll, t- we'll take a look at this real fast. Yeah. That was very fast. Damn, oh, I win. What are we quick. looking at? Wow. I yeah, win. What are we looking at? <laughs> Holy shit, I win. All right. We're taking a look at, um, so, uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson did a fucking interview with Fox News recently. Where oh um, no, oh uh, no, he, t- he talked about why he's not endorsing Biden, uh, and he complains about woke culture. He's basically oh, trying God. to um, Fuck the Rock. He's trying. He's to- trying to pull some centrist yeah. nonsense to like court people on the right, essentially, who are like afraid yeah, of like, but the end he of masculinity. Fox News. Rock. Yeah, he went to Fox News of all yeah. places to do this shit, so it doesn't look fucking good. But uh, let, let's take a look. I, I've seen some people talking about this, and I feel like I have enough input to uh, offer my own two cents. So let's just take a look what he has to say. All right. This week. Wow, Jesus Christ. Nice job, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, okay, Fox. Yes, that was very quick. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Fucking cow- what the fuck? <laughs> Why is it so low quality? Oh, it's Fox News. What? Yeah, no, no. I mean, shit, could have told you that. I was gonna say, it's fuck. Yeah, it, fucking, I hate this. <laughs> you I'm must the watch Fox News. <laughs> this is fucking infuriating. The oh, video look, player's the worst. Gotta shove some Israel stories in there, of course. 
40. Mm -hmm. But first, Dwayne The Rock Johnson sat down with co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend, Will Kane. Will Kane joins up, guys? <laughs> yeah, and I'll Wait, where's the fucking oh. interview already? Oh, God. oh my God. Where's the interview? What, what a sorry. fucking... Dude, dude the, the guy in the green tie, you're doing too much. This okay, is the worst shit ever. This no, is the just, worst down. Shit ever. Just, just hit play. Oh, there we go. I think I can fast forward. There we go. There's Dwayne the Cock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> there the we real go. man who is yeah. in Cock Simulator. It is important to you no matter its popularity. To be real and to be direct and to be open and to be transparent. And as you and I have talked about, if you ask me a direct question, I'm always going to give you a direct answer. Whatever it is. He gives several indirect answers throughout the entirety of this fucking interview. Yeah, I was going to say that. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah. So this is what really bothers me when it comes to celebrities and political. No one is going to get the straight answer out of a celebrity because, one, they've been doing interviews for however fucking long and knows how to dodge a question. You're never going to get a direct answer. So for you to take your political takes from a celebrity, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, I mean... Uh, ultimately, they're you though, but you're a goddamn idiot. <laughs> ultimately, a, a lot of them have way more influence than they should, but for a lot of them, they're just about as informed on politics as the average fucking person. So, who are they to fucking pretend like they fucking know? But at, at the same time, you know what's strange about this to me is that he mm. goes out and he does this entire interview talking about how he's not going to endorse Biden. That that's something that he talks about during this interview, where okay. most people would just like simply not endorse a candidate. Why does he feel the need to make a public spectacle about it and go out and basically essentially virtue signal about this on Fox News of all places? Like, it's, it's very fucking clear what he's trying to do. He's trying to get basically, you know, people who might have been, you know, estranged from him because of some of the shit that he's done recently on social media. I know there, there was like a big like social media. I, I, I struggle to call it a fucking scandal recently where he was like uh, letting his daughters like put makeup on him. And everyone was like, is this the end of masculinity? So, no, I, yeah, you know, I know I mean, this happened after that, so it could be related as for all there, I know. There's another thing that kind of bothered me with uh, The Rock, and that was when they were doing, um, it was him and Oprah, something to do with Hawaii. Yeah, the, 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 fires, the fires in Hawaii. Yes, thank you. Yeah. And it just, I don't know, it's, it seemed disingenuous, like the idea was good. But the execution was so piss poor that just put everyone off. That's well, how a lot of these things uh, end up being. Part of the reason that the execution was so piss poor is because of the fact that The Rock himself, to my knowledge, is a Hawaiian native. Yeah. Right? And Oprah is a multimillionaire that just so happens to own properties in Hawaii that were saved from the fires while everyone yeah. else is burned. Of course. You know, like how the Kardashians were able to save their home from the California wildfires? Mm -hmm. well, it's, it's it, it comes off as... These are people who make money hand over fist. These are people who have at least seven or eight digits in their bank account, and we're not talking about the routing number. For them to turn around and say, hey, we need you to help fund, but don't worry about us. We have money ourselves, but that's the unstated, unstated assumption. It seems really uh, tawdry, cheap. Not only tawdry, but very... It just Tone seems death. so disconnected. Mm -hmm. Like, the rich and the poor is so disconnected and separated from each other, it is no fucking joke. Yeah, the class disparity in this country is unbelievable. It is. I agree. And that's important to me. And authenticity. We hear that word a lot. Uh, but that's uh, important to me. Authenticity. Uh you hear it a lot because it means yeah. nothing. It's a very fucking loose word that can mean the, whatever you want it to interpret. Yeah. And that's why The, the Rock, Rock was, loves it. The Rock was being inauthentic. Yeah, it, he was being inauthentic with that very fucking statement, which is ironic. Yeah. I feel like, and I mean, we could go down the well here, but there's, 
In today's easy cancel culture world and cancel culture, woke culture. Another fucking buzzword. That's all he fucking produces throughout this interview is buzzwords and, you know, weasel words and all Buzz these fucking tactics. Points. All these yeah. tactics to say nothing, basically. Yep. S saying whatever without actually saying anything. That is the mark of a fucking politician. And Bradshaw said it perfectly. Thank you. Yeah. Funnily enough, he's he asked he's asked directly in this fucking interview if he'd ever run for president. And he says he has no plans to, but he's talking just like a politician. So, mm -hmm. like this culture, that culture. I sorry. Go ahead. Maybe when I was younger, I would be like, "Yeah, rock, awesome." It'd be like Jesse Ventura, except bigger. My governor can beat up your governor. Blah blah blah. But I can't see an actual celebrity that's probably why i love stephen colbert so much is because or even um oh john stewart i love these well, two so much because they know how to make it where i can understand politics a little bit better and i can you know they'll never run for office because they know how fucking dumb that would be an idea well, for yeah, them they, they, know, they know their place in politics too and they know yeah. where they can make the most influence and here's the fucking thing ultimately like the rock I, he has a big enough fucking ego. I could see him going into fucking politics one day. I feel like he's that definitely fucking considering. He's talked about doing it quite a few fucking times. But he's not going to be able to do that if he's doing shit like this. Because this is not going to win him any favors. Like, this is going to be seen as too milk toast of a fucking take to appeal to anybody on the right that he's trying to appeal to right now. And this is going to lose him a bunch of fucking supporters who might be, like, center or left. Because it's just going to seem like a spineless fucking take even from them. Even a, also, even a fucking centrist is not going to appreciate this take. Like... Also, is anyone surprised that Fox News would edit the interview? Come on. It's Fox News. Yeah, it's fucking Fox. Culture, I'm division, etc. I'm not surprised. Uh, that really bugs me. And in the spirit of that, you either... How much did they, ed how much did they edit this? There's a lot more context. Jesus Christ. I'm curious now. Yeah, because I mean, I, this is the video that... This is, this is the link that I've uh, saw in a in someone's description who went over this, but I'm not sure if this is like the full one. If you can provide me the the, the full video, I'd I'd be willing to take a look at that at some point. Thank you, Red um, <laughs> former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura, and this is conspiracy theory. Hell yeah! <laughs> in the spirit of that, you either succumb and be what you think other people want you to be. Or you go, well, no, that's not who I am. I'm going to be myself and I'm going to be real. If you ask me something, uh, a real answer is important and the truthful answer is important. And that may get people upset. We've been watching this for like a couple minutes now, or at least a full minute, I'd say. I, I, and I, he hasn't I, said anything. Yeah. He hasn't said goddamn anything. He hasn't said anything. It's, a gish, it, it's a, a, a gish gallop. And that's they edited this. They edited this, and they still kept this, in all this fucking gish gallop. This, this isn't really a gish gallop because he's not tossing out multiple points just to mm -hmm. obfuscate. This is more of um double talk. Yeah, that's fair. okay. That's fair. Yeah, I get what you're saying. That it may piss, piss people off, and that's okay. But it took me some time to recognize that. At first, I was, in a way, adverse to fame, and I. I didn't understand. I don't believe that for one fucking Adverse second. Adverse to fame? I've never seen someone huffing their own fucking fumes quite like the goddamn rock on Mr. Johnson. Oh my yeah. Mr. Johnson, do you not see how they put you down as? Superstar and WWE. They... You were not adverse to fame. You have been in fame since you ever started wrestling. With you and Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, um, fucking, well, there was another one that was like pretty popular up there. Big Shy, Triple H, Chris Jericho. yeah, Chris Jericho. Thank you. Yeah, the Hardy Boys. Come on, don't. The no. interview was fifty minutes long. Holy shit! Jesus, that's, Jesus. that's, that's a slog. Fifty minutes of nothing. Jesus Christ. All right, you know what? This interview was during WrestleMania. Exactly. Here, here's what I'm going to do, because I'm actually, boy. Quite, yeah. I'm, I'm actually quite interested in this topic. I think if I can if I can find the motivation in time, I might make... I still got to fucking work on a video for Heon. 
But uh, after that, I might make this my first video returning back. I might get like the, some timestamps of him actually saying things I want to go over and make a video about this because, yeah, this is the type of fucking centrism I can't fucking take. Um, I, I'm very, I, I, I hate sharp political division, but also I think that like blanket weird ass fucking do nothing centrism is not going to be helpful. There's one, it's one thing to see people across the aisle and be able to like, you know, work together on issues that everyone should be able to agree on, like in infrastructure and shit like that. I'm okay with that. But to just put out like, eh, you know, I, I really don't think anyone in this election is going to going to do a good job so uh yeah no endorsement you know it's like you're not really saying or contributing anything by doing that shit all you're doing is showing how uncreative you are to actually fix the issues that are facing us right now and that's fine not everyone's like not everyone either desires or is suited to doing that type of shit but to pretend like you know a lot more than you actually do is quite the dwayne the rock johnson thing to do so. oh a uh, spherical man you said his father was a famous WWF wrestler. So the Dwayne knows nothing. Here's the thing. His father was a famous wrestler before the WWF was even a thing. Dwayne The Rock Johnson actually played a version of his father during uh, that 70s show. The episode mm -hmm. in season one where they went to the wrestling show. Dwayne The Rock Johnson played his father and met Red and Eric. That was yeah. before the WWF was ever formed. That was that was actually during the WWF. Yep. Oh, yeah. And Back before that, there, was High, Chief, there and... was High Chief Peter Maivia. Yep. Yeah, goes, goes, he's basically fucking, what, third generation? Yeah. Oh my god, he is their generation. Yeah. Oh my god. You know I what's completely forgot about his granddad. <laughs> ever, ever since Elon Musk bought back fucking I mean not bought back, ever since he fucking purchased Twitter, I have nonstop fucking seen Alex Jones in the live on X section. Oh so my god. The, it's the one mm. major platform that he's allowed on nowadays. And now he's putting out he's gonna catch another fucking lawsuit doing this shit. He's putting out these conspiracies that binds a different person now and everything like that. Like, the same old fucking shit that he's been up to, but he hasn't f learned his fucking lesson at all. Like, one of these days, he's gonna say something just as fucking whack as he did before that's gonna catch him another fucking lawsuit, and then he's never gonna fucking dredge himself out of that fucking hole, that's for sure. Like, oh, Jesus God. Christ. I'm not even bringing it up on screen, because I know YouTube fucking can't stand Alex Jones. <laughs> I, I understand why. I still think that people should be allowed to debunk his bullshit on here. I, I, oh, I get yeah. not having him. I get not having him on the platform, but people should be able to fucking talk about him. Um, I, I'm sure, like we can talk about him, but you know what I mean. Like we should be able to play the content yeah. on here and debunk it. You know what I mean? Yeah, to, but, yeah, to be able to pick it apart. Yeah, and you has not no only that, but can we just all admit that the courtroom or when they did show Alex Jones taking the stand, it was just fucking amazing entertainment because he was just oh, so dumb. I laugh. So goddamn hard. I really wanted to cover that live, but I couldn't. I wish you did. It would have been so much fun, but I had to watch it through Jeff Holiday. So, well, to be fair, uh, to be Jeff fail. Jeff Holiday does do most of his such stuff via like Twitch. Mm -hmm. So it's so much easier for him to get away with showing Alex Jones. Oh, yeah. Because YouTube's ban on Alex Jones is so fucking strict. Like, Oh, it's uber strict, yeah. He's, I'm surprised we were able to say his name. He, he he's, he's one of those people that YouTube is just like, no, absolutely the fuck not. Never again. Nope. Go. Yep, don't even want you playing his content on here. I mean, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we're fine to talk about him, but like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it hasn't gotten that far yet, yeah, no, but I feel it, like it if it continues on, I can totally see it happening. 100%. So, um, yeah, I could eventually, I suppose. It, technology keeps getting better, so I guess we'll see. I do want to say, you know, uh, it's, it's funny that you bring up Jeff Hawley, because, like, I was talking to Lusty recently, because I, I, I got a new uh, couple of emojis added to the Troll Saders and Naysayers server, because uh, mm -hmm. I, I was sending oh, a great picture. Fucking I, I was, Lusty. Yeah, I was sending a great picture. And um, I think I, I thought it would be great for the trolls, haters, and naysayers. So I sent Lusty 
Um, speaking, speaking of, of emoji. Speaking of Jeff. Well, Hall I was giving my spiel. You goddamn it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. You well, now I have something I want... next week. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I've got something upcoming next week, and I was talking with Losty, and uh, Losty threw me through a fucking loop because <laughs> Losty just said to me. Oh yeah, I, I I should be there next week for the uh, Von Helton and Jeff Holiday discussion. <laughs> I, I was like, wait, wait, a minute. wait, Jeff is gonna talk to Von Hall? No, 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 no. Anna is. Oh no, th is there's it, no. The, 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 Mango, the, you can explain it, Mango. Okay, so there's an ongoing thing where Von Helton believes that Unterhaven, aka Underhaven is actually Jeff Holiday. <laughs> yeah, you're on Jeff Holiday right now. <laughs> oh my god, my first best lover was Anna the Centurion. I'm gonna tell Jeff about this whole one. I need to go oh my god. That's Yeah, crazy. um for those who don't know, uh me and Jeff kind of um we, we've known each other for a while. We kind of privately DM each other. But we when I did an interview with him like a long ass time ago, uh, we found out that we've had so many similar experiences and stories that we're just star-crossed lovers. So um, <laughs> when was he going to tell me that you were him or he was you? What the hell? I feel like... <laughs> I, it's like I don't... Man, the joke is old as fuck at this point. Like, I yeah, know. Like, I'm sorry. Funny no. as hell. I mean... Does Jeff know though? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Knowing he him, does by now. Yeah, he does, but at the same time, he probably thinks it's hilarious. Yeah, I'm you know what? When you do sure your it, when you do your thing with Vaughn, you should have like the most stupidest and obscure picture of Jeff, and just post that. Trust me, I'll. I have Red Royals. She's actually one of the uh, um, on the Discord. She's one of the uh, admins. We'll find a good picture for you. Oh my god! All right, let, let me see if I can find this because yeah, there was an old. Oh my goodness! On, the, the reason uh, to explain to the people who are confused, the reason why Von Helton got confused is because back in back in the day. Back on Underhaven, like neither I or Swagta would would go on camera, so the only person who was on camera for that episode it was was generally our guest, and in that case it was Jeff Holiday, so uh, Jeff Holiday was the one on fucking camera. So now, well, oh, I found it! I found it. We'll show it you off. Found then, it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we found yep. it. And we'll, we'll wrap up the show. At, we'll wrap up the show after this. But this is this is a great. This is a classic Underhaven moment. Oh. I was only following orders. <laughs> that has to be. Oh my god. god. Let's see if I can do this. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a that's such a classic. And and, and want to know what this is the exact reason why we have. Uh, that's the exact reason why I have Doing this too. Doing the Nazi salute. That's that's Vaughn explaining the situation. I shit you not. That was Vaughn explaining the whole situation. That's why he did the Nazi salute. Oh my god. Jeff. Yeah. Oh, I love you, sweetheart. But it's beautiful. God isn't damn it, it Jeff. <laughs> that's epic. That is epic. Someone oh take a god. screenshot of that. Someone yeah, take a epic. screenshot of that. <laughs> and I bet you anything he was probably drinking too. Oh, I'm I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> damn, that was great though, huh? Like damn. that was fantastic. Classic, and classic. of course, it'd be just to do though. that. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But yeah, that was fucking awesome. Good fucking times. Good fucking times. <laughs> this is more like Spider Man pointing at Spider Man user two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait. How how were two people? Who are the same person on the same show at the same time? I, I don't understand that. That's Mari, crazy. the person who was in the Santa hat, that is Mr. Jeff Holiday. That's Mr. Mr. Holiday used to be a um, political, like way back in like 2017, he was kind of like in the political, um, what's a good way of saying it? He wasn't really debunking. He was just kind of debating about politics and such. And he moved away from that. He actually started 
when he knew about Jelly Juice. And a lot of people know about him about Jelly Juice because he would actually uh, do some really hard ass research about Jillian Epperly, who was yeah, trying that, to that really got him his like break and doing he, that like research. Mm-hmm. He was that. on Dr. Phil. Yeah, I forgot about that. He was that. on Dr. Phil. He was, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of when I came along to it was like a little bit before he started on Dr. Phil, and that's when I got into his community as well, because I actually found out about Julie um because they showed Jeff on Dr. Phil when Cinnamon Toast Ken was doing the reaction. And ah. that's how I got into uh, Jeff Holiday. So if anything, you can thank Mr. Cinnamon Toast Ken. Damn. All right. All right. Well, I think that was, that's a show, right? That was a great fucking episode. It was a show for the people. Yeah. A but very solo. Yami show. Yami show for your people. <laughs> thank you for coming on, Yami. It was very nice to have you back on. We'll have you back on sometime soon. Uh, with, yes. with more advanced um, notice in the future. <laughs> oh no, I love our little short it, it would have been a little sooner, but I was actually taking a nap and I woke up and I saw the message. It's like, oh shit, I, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I need a I, I need a nap too. I actually surprisingly got a good rest. So yeah, it was it was a good episode. I, I'm I'm really glad that we, we did this shit. It was great. Of course. Um unfortunately I do not do any shows. I did used to stream on Twitch a lot. I may do that in the future. We'll have to wait and see. But until then, you can always catch me on here making some funny chats on uh, Toast, BGTV, or um, just anywhere in, within the community. Or just, you know, catch me whenever. You'll find me. No no one pulled a peanut tonight. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, yes, yeah, me. <laughs> hey, oh, my hey. God. I hey. smoked a million peanut. Back. Yeah, it's me, Mr. Nut. Yeah, I'm a nutting professional. Stop all the Wait. downloading. Yeah, I'm, what I'm, was hey, it? Hey, I'm the world's fattest nut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll go, through, we'll, we'll, we'll go through. We'll go through. We'll go to the rest of you. Uh, Mango, anything you got coming up? Anything you got? You, you uh, want to talk about? So, as most people know, Lizard is off doing his monthly obligation to uncle sam so instead of brunch tomorrow we'll do a cooking heavy version of stupid morning bullshit um you're gonna you make guys me, aren't you yes <laughs> uh you guys know the links if you want to help out small human with his shit that's coming up um yeah that's about it. Uh, sorry, I was taking a hit from my blog when you finished. Oh, shit. Uh, Hyun, you've got <laughs> shit coming up, right? Yes, I do. I'll be going through the rigmarole of fixing my sleep schedule once again because my body just does not know when to fucking quit. So, Thursday, CSB, around about 9 o'clock in the evening. Uh, we'll go over some news. We'll check on Dave as usual. And uh, I'm gonna try shit. and get you your video ready for Tuesday. So, okay, yeah, I, I, I did I did say Friday because I thought I, I don't know, I thought I that was well, I, 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 more time, but I, you know. I, I, I didn't get the chance to talk to you about that. I don't think that's a good idea. You should try and space out your content better. So I would okay. recommend Tuesday, and I will okay. try and get it ready for Tuesday. So Tuesday uh, uh, for the people on the East Coast, it's. 10 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Yeah, yeah if you're, civil, yeah, if you're yeah. civilized, if you're fucking civilized, then you know what time it is. <sighs> you know but what time you're... it is? Time for what? you to get in watch. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's time. not technically my birthday anymore. But thank you for all the birthday wishes, and thank you guys for helping make my birthday special. You guys do every year, and there's even more you guys now this year than there has been in quite a while. I'm so proud of this channel, and and everything. I'm just so happy. I, I went on my big spiel. I, I went on my big spiel earlier, so I, I won't repeat myself. But just thank you to everybody who's involved in this. It it really does mean a lot to me. Uh, drop a like if you like this shit. I know you guys are good about that. And uh, yeah, as always, <laughs> fellas, stay fucking toasty and have a good night. Kick. Penis. Balls.